A trio of restaurants with histories of high health scores saw those numbers fall into the 70s after recent inspections. The night team's Tim Gerber has details as he takes us behind the kitchen door. Our first stop this week is First Stop, located in the 2500 block of East Houston Street. In December last year, they earned a respectable score of 90, but when inspectors returned last month, they ended up with a 76. The inspector found eggs and butter that had been left out overnight. Instead of the required temperature of 41 or below, those items were measured at 75 degrees. Cheese in the mini fridge had mold on it, so it was thrown out. Food contacted surfaces were covered in grease and food residue. A calcium lime rust chemical was on the food prep counter, and there was rat fecal matter in the cabinet under the soda fountain. Four of the violations were corrected on site, but the business still earned a reinspection. El Taco Rodeo de Alisco in the 8800 block of Petranco came in with a score of 79, a big drop from its past two inspections, which earned them a 98 last summer and a 96 earlier this year. Proper cleaning methods led to the low score this time around. The inspector noting the sanitizing compartment where dishes are washed didn't have the proper amount of bleach, and it was way too high in another area used for cloth towels used by waitresses. There was a leaky pipe in the kitchen draining into a bucket of cloth towels used for cleaning, and the inspector saw employees using towels to wipe down dirty surfaces without placing them in the sanitizing solution. They were reinspected. Hacienda Vallarta in the 9800 block of Marbach saw its previous scores of 91 and 90 take a nosedive down to 79. An employee was using bare hands to cut onions, there were live flies in the kitchen, and raw shrimp, fish and eggs were found sitting on shelves above cooked and ready to eat foods. Two of the violations were repeats, earning the business a reinspection. That's behind the kitchen door, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. And you can catch Tim's BKD reports on Thursday nights right here on the Night Beat. Now, several restaurants also got perfect scores. To see who did an excellent job, use your phone to scan this QR code and it'll take you right to our perfect scores database on KSAT.com.